Hi, in this tutorial, you will learn how to find relevant resources in the Globethics Library on ethics of digital and emerging technologies. Let us start with a simple search by typing, for example, cyber ethics in the search bar. To narrow it for better organization, you can click on Show Advanced Filters. Select from the drop down list the category you want to focus on. Let's select Document Type and Write Book. Just so you know, you can also add more filters, if necessary, by clicking on the plus sign to add or on the minus sign to remove. And click on Apply. And from these results, to have the most recent documents, click on the wheel here and click on Issue Date Descending. And you can see from the results that there are books and chapters. Also, for refining your search even more, you can go on the left-hand side of the page with the filters by category as in the drop-down list above that you can click on with the number of results you can find in there. For example, under Author Contributor, let's click on Stuckerberger Christoph. And from these results, let's open one of them, such as this book chapter. And you can see here the basic information of this record as well as the Digital Object Identifier, the collection to which it belongs to, and the CC license, and you could also either click on the image of the book or on the Download tab to download this item. And you can also export for your references just by clicking on Export and select the format. Just so you know, for exporting on Zotero, select the format Refman or Biptex. Also, you may want to see the complete records by just clicking Show Full Item Record. And you can see that this book chapter is extracted from this Club Ethics publication. Data Ethics, Building Trust, How Digital Technologies Can Serve Humanity with the following Creative Commons rights. To go back to the Simple Item Record, just click on Show Simple Item Record. And you can also browse our collections by clicking on Communities. Let us see the Ethics Collections and let us check the special collection Cyber Ethics. For searching in the collection, type keywords in the search bar here and search as shown when searching in the whole library. For example, let us write AI Ethics. And from these, you can also narrow your search by clicking on Show Advanced Filters and selecting the category of your choice from the drop-down list, such as Publisher and Globe Ethics. And if you click on one of the results, as this one, you would see the same information and features as when we search in the whole library. Also, for more specialized research with more resources, let us go back to Communities and click on Institutional Collections. Let us have a look at the Credo Reference Collection, which is a collection of selected reference works that Globethics purchased from Credo Reference, as mentioned in the description of the collection. You can also search in this search bar, but before doing so, do not forget to register to have access to these resources, as these are strictly restricted registered users. To do so, you need to register with your Globethics credentials, the email address and password you sent to Globethics for your registration. And from these results, you can select the encyclopedia of your choice, such as, for example, this one, and click on the online access link. On the home page of this encyclopedia, when scrolling down, you can find the articles classified in alphabetical order. For example, in the letter C category, let us select this one. And here, you can select the features here, such as site, read aloud for having it read out loud, or translate, for example, Spanish. And you could also search within this title with the keywords of your choice. And you can also check the compilation of references, which can support you in deepening your research. And you can also search in the search bar above. For example, let us search for cyber ethics as a keyword. And in here, you can see the articles on this topic as well as the mind map that you can enlarge 
by clicking here, and you can also click on the concepts and ideas surrounding this keyword. And from the 160 results, let's click on the first one. And on this page, you can select the feature as described previously, as well as the related searches and related articles. Now, there are also journals that can be harvested and therefore can be consulted. Just go back to Communities and click on Journals A to Z. For example, let's have a look at Digital Culture and Education. Here is the description of this journal collection. You can find the articles by keywords or searching by publication date or by titles if you have more precise information on these. If you scroll down, you can see below the articles from this journal. For example, let's click on the first one of the list and click on the online access link. And from this page, you can read it online on the journal's website and you can also download it from here. Apart from these, you may want to know about other resources that cannot be found in our library. So here are some important open access databases you may want to use. In the open access aggregators, you may want to check the databases mentioned here. Core, Open University UK, Base, Bielfeld Academic Search Engine, Dimensions, Digital Science, OSF Preprints, Semantic Scholar, Alien Institute for AI. Let us check Core. And in here, you can search by keywords. As keyword, let's type AI ethics. Search. And you can see here the various results from this query. To have the most recent documents, you can also click on sort by relevance here and select recent. From these results, let us click on the first one. And here, you can see the abstract and you can also download it here. And you may continue to explore the directories such as Open DOAR, Open Repositories, DOAB, Directory of Open Access Books, DOAJ, Directory of Open Access Journals, Registry of Research Data Repositories, or Wikidata. Let's check the DOAB, Directory of Open Access Books. In the search bar, let's type AI Ethics. And from the seven results, let us click on AI Ethics in Higher Education, Insights from Africa and Beyond. From this articles page, you can see the metadata for this record, and you can download it from the link here. And last but not least, these are resources with platforms where you can connect with peers, other researchers, such as academia.edu, ResearchGate, Humanities Commons, SSRN, Social Sciences. Let's check SSRN. In here, you can type keywords using quotation marks to be more specific. For example, let's type AI Ethics. You can scroll down and click on this author. On this page, you can see the information about him and you can contact him on these email addresses. And you can check his publications and download them. You could also search within papers, and you can sort by citations, selecting Citations Descending. And if you click on one of his publications, such as this one, you can see the metadata, the citations and references just here or just below. Also, coming back to the beginning, when you arrive on the first page of the results from searching AI Ethics, if you want to see the most recent papers, just go to Sort By and select Date Posted Descending. And to be even more specific, you could go on the option Browse here, and on this classification, for example, you could click on the plus sign next to Applied Sciences and select Computer Science Research Network, and then select this one. And here are the results you can have from this. And you could search within papers or sort by the following options. And also, just so you know, in the Globethics library, the authors can be featured to their profiles. Just go to profile here and just below click on view. 
and here you can search select an author from the name here or you can select from the letters here let us select the letter s and let us select the Stuckerberger Christoph. And you can see his biography and institutional profile as well as his work in the Globethics Library. And from these, you are invited to register to the Globethics Library and you could be part of the Globethics Researchers Network. This would indeed be a great opportunity to have your work visible to the public and also have your voice in a discourse on ethics, in particular ethical leadership. I hope you found this tutorial helpful as a starter for your research on this topic, ethics of digital and emerging technologies. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Globethics Library.